I am excited for the video. If you're new, my name is Lynette. Uh, we live in Sarasota, Florida, and we just bought our house, moved into it. We did a bunch of remodeling to it, and we moved in a couple months ago. There are still quite a few things that we have to work on, but you know, little by little. Today, I'm gonna be focusing on the living room area and also our outdoor like lanai patio, which is just right off of the living room. Um, possibly in our bedroom just a little bit. Um, Castlery is sending us some furniture, which I'm excited about. So this is the living room right now, and I pulled my sofas from staging furniture that I had sitting around, and it's worked out well. It's very inexpensive. It's not holding up the best, and I'm thankful we had it to be able to use it. The next sofa that we are getting from Castlery is quite a bit bigger. Hopefully, it'll, it'll fit in the space here. I do have this recliner here that I may keep here or I may put it back in our bedroom. I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, the rug that I have here is a nine by 12, but I purchased a bigger one because the new couch is so much bigger, it would not fit this sofa. It would completely like stick out on the other side. And so I have another one here. I am hoping it'll look good in the space, but yeah, this is what we've got going on at the moment. The fireplace eventually will get a mantle and I don't know when. I had been hoping we could do it for this video but we're just too busy with other things. Uh, we also, I have curtain rods and curtains I wanna put in those windows. And the other thing we're doing is the outdoor area. They're also sending us a couple love seats to put out here. Eventually we'll paint the exterior of the house. Um, for now, I'm just gonna have to work with it. I do have a couple of chairs over there, but yeah, I wanna cozy up the outdoor area because it's kind of just an extension of, you know, our inside living, especially in the winter time here in Florida. So I've got the pack of play out there at the moment because occasionally Harper will play in there for, you know, outside and stuff, so. And I have not decided whether I will show you too much of the bedroom or not. <laughs> I was gonna do a separate video on that, but Here's the corner that needs a chair. I like to sit on a chair to like do most of my editing and this wall is just really blank yet. So uh, one of the chairs will go in here. Hopefully you guys will enjoy the video. So just a little bit about Castlery. They are a modern furniture company uh, that sells furniture online. So it's a direct to the consumer type of brand. So without the middleman, they're able to give you better prices and more affordability. Uh, Castlery believes that there's value in taking time to curate your home with intention. And I myself am very passionate about creating a home I love wherever I am, regardless of the situation, even if your home's not perfect, I'm a strong believer of that that you can make the most of it, even if you have a minimal bu budget, make it homey, cozy. This is where, you know, you spend a lot of your time. It's something that's always been important to me and I love design, I love good quality furniture, I love modern design, and I feel like Castlery brings that in. And they have everything from dining tables to beds, they have couches, they have uh, like dressers, you name it, they have outdoor furniture. So if you're wondering about the online process, uh, they do send out free fabric swatches if you wanna see the swatches ahead of time. They also have a flat rate shipping fee as well as a 14 day return policy and then also warranty coverage. So those are just a few things about Castlery. Uh, feel free to check out the link in my description box if you wanna go check out what other products they have and things like that. All right, so that one I think is gonna go in our bedroom like I was kind of expecting. It's just gonna be like too big for the room. And that way I'll have a nice comfy chair to sit on in my bedroom. <laughs>
want to thank Castle Reef for sponsoring the video. So first impressions of the couch, it sits very deep, it's firm, and it's like a low slung tight back, which is great if you know, you're a guy and you like having your arms stretched out, right? <laughs> I will probably talk about it more in a little bit, but for today, I need to go do some other things. So I'll come back another day and finish things up, but so far so good. Where do you think you're going, young lady? Huh? Do you see the water? I say we need a fence, don't we? She did? Mm -hmm. Which one? Oh. Piper, no. Do you love the blueberries? <laughs> so I'm finally getting around to hanging the curtains or should I say Nick is hanging mm -hmm. the curtain rods. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll hang the curtains. <laughs> uh, but I had to get a like corner bracket that will connect the two rods together. I just feel like it'll warm up the corner a little bit more. I got these sort of like linen look Mom, curtains. I don't want that. You don't want that. Okay. I don't want that linen. These linen look curtains on Amazon. They're somewhat sheer. Um, I'll try to link them below. As usual, there's just never any studs where we need them. Getting some romance back here in this town. It's even raining. <laughs> How's that for vibes? <laughs> well, sister, what are you doing? Wow, did you make it through the bushes? Come here. Come here. This one has been whew, teething on high. She's pu pushing her molars, which this video is going to be long after the fact, but. Harper, Harper, that's no no. Just a big no no. That's no no. Here, she's been mostly attached to my hip or someone's hip. So she's been pretty grumpy. 
Even though she doesn't look like it right now. <laughs> So I have been trying to figure out what I want to put in my living room above my leather sofa. So I found these prints on, I think it's called Olive and Oak Collection or something like that. I saw it on Instagram and this is the print. She has an Etsy shop, but so I ordered it and the first one never got delivered. <laughs> it just took like weeks and it's still not here. So finally I was like, well, I'll just need to like print some myself, just do a download, which I should have just done in the first place, but did that. It was too big. Now I wish I would have kept it and not cut it down to, to the size frame I have. This is the size frame I have, which is a 20 by 30. It's just from Amazon. So basically I'm thinking like a, a gallery wall, just of maybe like three prints. And I also had this one from Target that I've had for a while, I really like it. Also got a download from the same place that I got the tree, the Olive and Oak place. This one I got printed uh, at Walgreens, I think. I put it on like foam poster board. Uh, so I actually ended up Mod Podging it, which you'll see here shortly, just to see if I can like give it some texture. And the other thing is there's a little bit of a flaw here because Oakland put something sticky on it and so it's not perfect. And I was trying to see if I could kind of like disguise it and make it work. But the frame is not quite what I want. I think I want it to be like a gold style frame. So we'll see. I will try to link uh, the Etsy shop where I got this print from and then also the frames. They're just like super lightweight frames. And this one I actually just took the glass out of because there's always so much glaring and it's like a plexiglass instead of real glass. So. I think I'm gonna try and hang them and we'll see how it looks. I'll live with it a little bit and if I need to put it in a bigger frame, I can order a bigger one and just do it like locally, print it locally. So uh, we'll, we'll see how it looks. The kids are all off on spring break this week so I haven't gotten much done. <laughs> Harper's asleep. And Oakland is bored. She was cleaning for me a little bit, right? Yeah. You wanna clean again? No? What if I film you? No? another gold frame and see if I like it if not I could use this one so you can let me know what you think okay so it's the next morning and I ended up going to Michael's to get some frames and they didn't quite have what I was hoping to find at least not what I saw online and Target was I guess out of stock so I ended up buying something at Michael's I'm gonna do a little DIY on the Michael's frame so this is the frame it comes with a mat it's matted to 11 by 14 but I don't want I don't want the mat so I like the frame part of it it has like a similar look although it's a little bigger than the ones inside as far as wider I kind of like that but I actually wish my bigger ones would be like this too but anyway I'm gonna try a little rub and buff on this because it's like a brown at this point So the other thing I got was this mirror at Mission Thrift. It's a new thrift store here in town. They're Mennonite based. Uh, they have some in Holmes County and they benefit like local kids. Whoa! Yeah, so I'm gonna try some rub and buff on this. It's just, it's pretty tarnished. 
I am just a really big fan of these and you can get them in different shades. So the one I used on the picture frame is the gold leaf. Uh, and then I've used it in different other places. You just literally like rub it on. And so I might try the antique gold. I'm gonna try it on here and then I think I have an idea of where to put it. Okay, so here is this one now. I think I'm gonna put it up and I think it'll look good. together finally took a while. Oakland's just playing over here. Harper's napping at the moment. I did finally settle on the pictures over there and I like them. I am sure I'll be changing things out on occasion but I I really like it. We have really really been loving this Owen Shays sofa from Castlery. Uh, it's very very comfortable. It does sit a little deeper but the fabric seems to be uh, super like high quality and very durable. We've been using it for several weeks now and we've really had a, no issues at all. So definitely would recommend it. Um, it has like a natural base. I think they do also have a walnut base if you're curious. So it comes in two sections and yeah, it's a super sturdy and it's very wide. You could easily sit four people on it and it's very comfortable. You could sleep on it. What not? We're very, we're very happy with it so far. There's a few things I would probably change. One thing would be the rug. I love how it feels, very neutral and all of that, but I don't feel like it's quite what I have in mind, but I have not been able to figure out what it is that I actually am quite looking for. So it's gonna stay for now. It's a, just a tad big, but it's also, gives more room for the kids to play on and Harper and just, yeah, it's so cozy and soft. So for now it's gonna stay. Uh, maybe in the future I will find something that I truly, you know, want in here. And I do tend to switch rugs out from time to time. So it's not like this is gonna stay for years on end, but I will link this rug if you're curious. It's very like velvety soft and it's from Rugs USA. Coffee table's one I've had for a long time. My uncle made it for me, as if you've been with me for a while, you'll recognize it. I've had it in multiple houses. Uh, I often get questions on the clock over here. This one was from Ross several years ago, so unfortunately I do not have a link for it. And then I did put this fiddle leaf in this new pot. I need to get a little bit more soil to put in there, but for now it adds some height. I was looking for something taller a plant that's taller to kind of fill some of this space but i ended up not finding anything yet at this point so we're just going to leave it for now and i think that helped kind of bring it up a little bit but i'll keep my eyes peeled for something else to put there possibly and then i did add the curtains obviously and those are really pretty and i'll have everything that i can i'll have linked below so one thing i've been looking for is some new pillows for the sofas. I did find these. These are like a, a sagey green. They're from Target. They're the Studio McGee kind. I just put my own inserts in them, like the feather inserts. 
and I have one at Oakland's room as well. The olive, I would really like to switch it out for something different for spring, summer, but I just haven't found it. And so I figured, well, it's okay. I'll just keep it here until I find what I'm looking for. Another thing in here is we do want to put a mantle here, but we just have not yet. So that's partially why the TV is up a little higher. And this is a Samsung frame TV. So you can switch out art. You can download things from like Etsy or even like this one was from Juniper Print Shop. I love some of their stuff. I have some of their prints as well, uh, but they have this right size for the frame. Just kind of disguises a little bit more of the typical TV black box type of thing. And then I'm gonna move outside, show you the other extension of the house. <laughs> we have been using this a lot, even just in the last week or two. We love the, the love seats. I will have those linked below, There's two of them. So you could sit, I think three people, I would say. They're decent sized and they're very lightweight. I love this detail here on the side. It's got like these little stretchy bands. They're outdoor fabric, durable. And then also the rug from Castlery as well. This one is a jute style. You could easily do it inside too. This is their eight by 10 size. I wanted it to kind of cover most of this area here because the, the pool patio area needs a lot of help and there was like a lot of chipping going on from the previous owners. Uh, we did add this fireplace and we have been using it so much. Uh, it is gonna be just like a winter use for us because once summer hits, there will definitely not be as much hanging out here. <laughs> However, with the pool and everything, it's just super nice to have this area here to sit and be able to, you know, watch the kids or whatever, just hang out. And it's just like an extension from inside. Uh, so this time of year, especially, it's just wonderful because, you know, you have extra seating. I can pull the other two chairs from over there, over here if I want to. And yeah, I love the ambiance. This is like a propane, propane uh, fire pit table, I guess you would call it. It's super easy to turn on and off. Just have like a little ignition switch here and that lights it and then you can just turn your propane off when you're done. We have not gone through one tank yet so I don't know how long it'll last but we've been using it quite a lot even in the evenings and stuff like that. Super cozy. And then of course I've got my plants. Got this one over here. Then I have this other sitting area over here for the time being and that leads into our bedroom then. And then lastly, Nick hung those string lights, cafe lights. He hung them all the, all the way around the perimeter of the pool area and then the house. So it really lights it up nicely at night. I do pull this ottoman away generally and I might just have to use it somewhere else just because of the uh, space constraints you know in this room but um, you can easily also order just the chair if you don't want the ottoman with it but it's a good way to kind of visualize it's a very large chair honestly it sits very deep and it's really comfortable um, Nick loves it as well so you could almost fit two people in if you take the bolsters off um, just you know, it's very nice and big. And then I really like this rug in here. This is the type of rug that is totally my jam. I, this one is from Laloy. I bought this one myself and it has these like pinks and maroons and olives. And it really just kind of like brings it all together. And so I found this pillow, a Target, that just matches it perfectly. And I am still waiting on art, trying to figure out what I want to put up there, but the olive throw in here is i get questions on it so much on my instagram this one was from home goods so i'm not really able to link it but i just have it over the foot of the bed and i'm still trying to grow out my fiddle leaf over there so this is what it looks like without the ottoman in front of it so 
I'm gonna either find a place to put the ottoman or do something else with it. But in the meantime, yeah, this is the little corner and I can edit here or have coffee, devotions, whatever, you know, we feel like it. Or Nick can hang out here too if he wants. But here is the mirror. I really like it. It's just a fun little mirror and I think the DIY on it turned out really well. It just kind of like shined it up again. So definitely if you've not tried rub and buff, do so. Um, I just have it right beside like my closet and in our hallway here leading to the bathroom. So it's something I could also like put in the girl's room or put in a hallway somewhere else. It's just one of those little mirrors you can fit anywhere. So really happy I found it. I feel like my style has sort of been evolving the last couple years. Um, I still love a lot of mid-century elements, but I also have been leaning more towards some classic lines in certain areas, but I still like, I still like that. But also then I have the, like the vintage side of me that kind of wants to come out. So I never know exactly what to call my style. It's, I guess it's just me. <laughs> so I, I don't know, maybe with time it'll kind of switch a little bit, but I'm one who likes change. I like mixing some older elements and things like that. So anyway, I'll try to have everything linked below. Thanks again to Castlery for sponsoring the video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully I gave you some inspiration and look forward to seeing you in my next one. Bye guys. <music>